Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Google Tag Manager. Today's episode is a little bit different because we are going to use Google Tag Manager and also Google Analytics to track 404 pages. That means if somebody visits your homepage and lands on a broken page, we will be able to track it using Google Tag Manager and then push the results onto Google Analytics and in Google Analytics, we'll be able to view a report, a custom report, which will give us details on where the pages came from. You might have broken links on several pages and that's how we'll find out. It's a little bit tricky, but I will make sure that you will understand every step of the way. Let's get started. Remember, there are three elements in these steps. Number one, I'm assuming that you have a web page that is hosted on a CMS such as WordPress. So we're going to do some code there. Then I'm assuming you have Google Analytics account created and also Google Tag Manager account created. If you have the three ready in front of you, let's get started. The first step that I will implement here is go to my WordPress, log in to my admin account and go into the appearance and editor. In the appearance here, I'm going to select the 404 template. This is a template uh, which is found in WordPress that allows you to customize your 404 pages. So what I will do is I will scroll all the way to the end of the template and I will grab a piece of code which is found here. Let me get that piece of code and I'll explain in a minute what it does. Copy. I don't need it anymore. And I will paste it right here towards the end of my template. Basically, this piece of code is nothing but a JavaScript code which will push through the data layer an event named 404 page. So whenever the 404 page loads, an event will get fired in the name of 404 page and will get sent to Google Tag Manager. Let's see the next step. So obviously this is where I need to add it to the template. I'm going to hit update. And my next step, step number two, is to go to Google Tag Manager. I'm logged into Google Tag Manager. The first thing that I will do is to go to triggers. And triggers is basically what will um, what will be the thing which will, which will start the tag. In this case, the trigger that I will create is based on an event, and the event is the 404 page uh, event name which will get fired. So I'm going to give this event, or uh, sorry, this trigger, the name 404 page trigger, and in the configuration part, I will select it being a custom event. And this trigger will get fired whenever the event name that is captured is 404 underscore page. Now, going back here just to confirm with you that this is the name of the event, if I go back to my WordPress, I see that through the data layer, I'm pushing the event which is named 404 underscore page and if you copy this this is exactly what you see here okay everything looks fine I'm going to save my trigger that is my second step now my third step is to go to Google Analytics and to go into the admin part scroll here into the properties. What I will do is I will be creating a custom dimension and a custom metric. If you don't know the difference, I will have a special video about these two uh, components. But for now, uh, trust me, we need to do this in order to proceed. So I will scroll down here into where it says, into the area that says custom definitions. If I expand this, I have custom dimensions and custom metrics starting with custom dimensions. I can scroll up here. This is my first dimension. Dimensions are basically um, 
a way for Google Analytics to capture your data based on different dimensions. So I'm going to create a new dimension and the name that I will give for this dimension is 404 referrer. And this will be a scope session because I want my referrer uh, dimensions to be uh, of type scope. So my dimension is created. It's given the index one. Keep that in mind because we will be using it uh, later. So I'm done with creating my first dimension. Now I can uh, create my custom metrics by clicking here, custom metrics, new custom metrics. The metrics which I will be uh, referring to here is 404 page views. Basically, I want to count the number of 404 page views that I'm getting through my Google Tag Manager. And this is of type hit. I'll keep everything the same. Nothing needs to uh, be modified and I hit create. Again, this is my first custom metrics and it is given the number one. Let me go back to confirm, I'm uh, saying done. Go up here, this is the index. This is the number that you need to remember because this will be the link which we will have on our Google Tag Manager when we are creating the fourth step and the most important one, which is the tag. So now that this is out of our way, I'm heading back to Google Tag Manager, but this time I'm going to Tags and I'm going to create the tracking tag that I've been talking about. Perfect. Going to Tags, New, Great. This is my tag and I will give it the name 404 Page Tracking. I don't need the tag here. That's perfect. Next is Tag Configuration. Remember, this is going to be linked to Google, uh, to Google Analytics, so I'm going to select it as Universal Analytics. The tracking ID, just like we do it every time, uh, GA tracking ID. This is my Google tracking ID. It's in the form of a variable. And the track type for this particular tag is going to be an event because what I decided to do is I will push all the variables that I need to push to Google Tag uh, to Google Analytics in the form of an event because this is a better approach. It does not uh, mess up my page views and it's a better way and it allows you to add more, um, uh, more values into your tracking. So I could literally fill in three different uh, elements here and this is exactly what I will do. The category that I will pick for this is page view. This is any name that you can give and uh, just to be descriptive, the category is type uh, 404 page. The action is, here is a built-in variable from Google Tag Manager which is called page path. This is my action and for the label, this is again another pre-built uh, it's another pre-built uh, variable from Google Tag Manager called referrer which will give me the referrer for that particular uh, tracking. And moving on, we're not done, hang on a second. It's a non-interaction hit of type true because I do not want it to affect my bounce rate. And moving on, I click on more settings and here's the part that I need to fill and connect with Google Analytics. My custom dimensions that I've just created and my custom metrics. Obviously, there's only one custom dimension. I'm going to click on Add Custom Dimension. The index here should match with the one that we have just created in Google uh, Analytics. So just to confirm, I'm clicking on Custom Dimensions here. Here is the index. So I need number one to go right here in the index. 
and then for the dimension value, this is the value that will get pushed into Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager. Uh, this will be the referrer. This is the value that I need to pass through. And for the metrics, again, at custom metric, I can go back here just to confirm, go to my custom metric and confirm that the index is one. I can type in one here and the metric value will be one because I just need to count for the number of uh, broken pages that people are getting through. And now for the last part, which is triggering, when will that tag be fired? Basically, it will be fired whenever we, uh, whenever we have a 404 page trigger. So I'm going to attach that trigger to this tag. I guess I'm all set and ready. I click on save. Believe it or not, we are almost done. What I need to do at this point before I hit on publish, I can hit preview. That will allow me to start testing my uh, triggers and tags and see if everything has been set up correctly before I hit on publish in Google Tag Manager. So here is a page in uh, that we are testing and I'm going to just simply say test error because I'm assuming this page does not exist. There you go. Here is my tags fired on this page include the 404 page tracking that we have just created. So we are all ready and set to go. Now I can go back here into my analytics go to home and if I want to test if everything is working fine I can go in real time to events scroll down slightly here and see events in the last 30 minutes as you can see we have an event category which is 404 page I click on it so again the event action as we have said before it's the page path and this is what is the page path in this case the event label had we clicked from a, a, a previous page or a referring page then the page referrer would be listed down here now I could stop here but what I want to do is go one step extra in uh, Google Analytics into the custom uh, tab here and I will create a custom report for this particular type of analysis on 404 pages. I'm going to click new custom report, going to give it a name of 404 page tracking. It's always good to create a custom reports. 404 pages. Moving on. I have to fill in two things, basically my metric groups and if I want to add a metric um, a group and also a dimension group, we can do both. I'm going with a flat table. Here you go, we have the dimensions and the metrics. Let me start with the metric group. The metrics which I will need are, first of all, the 404 page views. That will give me the number of 404 pages that have uh, been tracked. Another metric that I need would be the bounce rate. Remember, metrics are about numbers. And the other metric that I need is the exits. Number of exits. Another good one would be the time on page. These particular metrics are extremely essential when you're tracking the 404 error pages. Now going back into the dimension group, I can click and start with the page dimension. I would like to know the page which was broken. There it is. Another one is the one that I have created, the custom dimension 404 refer, meaning from where did this particular broken page come from. I'm all ready and set. Hit on save. And there you go. I have it. The reason you don't see anything, remember in Google um, Analytics, the default 
uh, range is generally does not cover the uh, current day because of the uh, delay in reporting which Google Analytics go through. There is a delay of nearly 24 to 48 hours and in this case you might be lucky to see some values here if you pick today's date. We just tested it now. Obviously it hasn't been captured yet but if I wait for probably a few hours, sometimes even two hours is good enough to push some data into my reports. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this particularly long Google Tag Manager, but it's a very interesting one because it ties in everything that we've learned so far. And to me, this is one of the advanced uh, Google Tag Manager videos that I've created. So if you like it, make sure that you tell it to your friends, subscribe and also create a free account with Webock where I will be pushing even more in-depth videos into Google Tag Manager and in general into anything about the web. And from me here, Danny, I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you in another one. Take care.